We are here with uh, Deepan Chakravarti, who won his second round game at the Commonwealth Championships. Uh, Deepan, today was relatively easy win for you, but there was a very interesting moment where you sacrificed your rook. Can't, can't say sacrifice, yeah, but because, uh, with this position, you know, even simple move like King H2 is probably just winning. But uh, I thought, okay, it's very interesting because after rook g6. F G uh, G6, Queen G6, I understood that if King F8... Can, can you just show the moves on the board? Yeah, okay. I mean, when I was calculating Rook G6, G6, Queen G6... So, this was all going through your mind yeah, before yeah. you made the move? Yeah, of course. Uh, yes, yeah, okay. Yeah. But here, King F8 is... Uh, he is he's losing a... So, so how do you calculate in such positions? Now, the King has two squares, H8 and F8. So no, no, I understood that, uh, okay, okay, uh, normal uh, thinking says, like, if you think normally, knight and four pawn versus queen and rook, and once king plays g4 and king comes to g3, and it's, it's almost, uh, king is very safe and it should be winning. So, you don't need to calculate very accurately here in this position. Just, okay. just take the knight and then g4, king comes G3 and so, so you didn't me. calculate beyond this uh, point? No, no, I calculate. I saw that, uh, okay, I had enough time, so I was just uh, going through the variations, having fun, like Rook G6 and the Mines, because a <laughs> lot of checks are coming. Uh, King F8, I understood that she is losing a Rook by forced. Okay. Because Queen F6. Ah, yeah, this is interesting. So, let's try to see King F8, Queen uh, F6. King How is... She no, because, no, because uh, it's immediately we can see that King E8, she is losing the Queen by Queen C6. Can you make the moves? Yeah, yeah. yeah. King here, Queen and F6. Check. King E8, Queen C6 and she is losing a Queen. So, she, she is playing King G8. Now, again Queen E6. Yeah, now this check, you had a choice between G6 and E6. No, no, it's very really simple. Yeah, there E6 check, uh, Rook is not uh, uh, interfering the check. And then if so she uh, has no, uh, no. H8, H7, F8, G7, four moves. Yeah, four moves, and easily you can see two moves are. Uh, you can just uh, our, um, say that, okay, do ah. two moves, and immediately your rook, queen your queen c8, and losing the rook. So now she has, has to play either king h7 or king g7. There is no much difference because she played king g7, I played queen g4 check. Again, it's same way. Like king h6, queen check is made. King h7, queen check, you are losing your rook. Okay. Rook. And uh, both the H8 and F8 are losing the rook. So we have to play this King Queen F3 check. Ah. King into E5, Queen into B. So the only point is you have to be, you have to see that this check check is not there. King is in between. Correct. And even in this check check is not there. King is in between. Nice. So this I saw. But the point is she could have played uh, in this position. She could have played uh, King H8. But okay, it's. Nothing much in this position anyway because check again. Okay, King G8 is just transposed to the position. So Rook G7. The point is she could have saved the Rook, but probably G4 and it's over. Yeah, like yeah. I will just play King here and it's. Here you don't need to calculate. Yeah, anything just play. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one, this Queen G4 check when you gave in that position. Can you just uh, bring that position because I feel somehow that move can be missed or. No. No, I mean, the point is, anywhere you move, your rook is... <laughs> but okay, this position, you know, honestly speaking, no need to think much because knight four points is enough to win. Since I had good enough time, I was just going through the variations. Yeah. Right. So, a nice win for you. Uh, Deepan, one question we have to ask you is about Pragnananda, yeah. who recently became a grandmaster. Uh, have you played against him? Have you seen him in action? What do you think makes him so special? Uh, I have not played with him. Uh, I am not sure, you know. So, I am very sorry because my memory is not that great. I am not sure whether I played with Pragnananda, but I have played with uh, his sister Vaishali. And uh, that game also I was struggling a lot. Like, uh, it was not at all easy. Probably it was, uh, I was minus and then it was draw and then uh, I somehow tricked her and I won. I, I don't remember when it was, like 2014 or 15. I played with uh, his sister Vaisali. Yeah? Uh, she was a big talent. Yes. Um, yeah, of course, Pragananda is a wonder kid of India and um, our probably I would say future world championship hope along with Nihal Sharin. And also, I'm not sure because a lot of young kids are coming up nowadays. You never know. You know, India is becoming very strong. And uh, yeah, Pragnananda is. Uh, but what do you think? You have seen his games. Do you? Do he's you very know? strong. He's very. Why? Uh, he's what is very, so special in him? 
I mean, okay, generally he plays very well. That's the reason because at the age of 12, probably I got my rating. <laughs> And he is a grandmaster, so yeah, it, that itself shows many things. Yeah. Well, Deepan, uh, all the best for the remaining rounds of Commonwealth, and we wish you good luck. Thank you, sir. Thank you.